Well, this is Michael DeVille coming to you from beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. It's May 28th, 2021. Now, we make offers almost every single day of the week for our investors. And our investors get most of the properties that they're looking to acquire. So we hear this all the time saying, well, it's so hard to buy a house. Well, it is. If you're a first time home buyer, you are just in trouble because it's virtually impossible for you to buy a house because you're in competition with guys like me. Now, my investors are very well healed. Their credit scores are 800 or so. They're putting a minimum of 25% down, oftentimes 50, many times we're paying cash. Now, if you're a seller and you got to decide who I'm going to sell my house to because these homes are getting multiple offers. Now, this morning we made an offer on property. It was 305 here in Phoenix, Arizona, three bedroom, two bath, two car garage. Beautiful property. Prices got up to $340,000. So $35,000 over ask in a matter of hours. For us, it's a good deal because the rents have gone up so much. But you as a first time home buyer are in trouble. It's very, very difficult for you to get a property in one of the great markets of the United States. Florida, Texas, and Arizona, just on fire. And let's talk about the double whammy. Now, why is it not bad for me? Because rents are going up commensurate with the price of the property. That's why I say we're not in a bubble yet. We're still in a fairly healthy marketplace because we're able to afford the higher rent or the higher payment. So as the price of the property goes up, the rent goes up. So here we are paying 340 for a house that's on a market of 305, so that's 35 grand more, but the rent is up. The rent is up considerably and still gives us a return on investment. But look what happens to you as a first time home buyer, because you have to live somewhere. Look at this. Even in the troubled markets of the United States, rents have started going back up. Look here in San Francisco, they had dropped down significantly. Now, I'm going to tell you, San Francisco was very, very hard hit. They lost 17, 18, 19%. I've even heard things where people were down 25% over where they were. And rents are rebounding. San Francisco, Boston, Chicago, Washington, D.C. No one wanted to live in New York. And people were locking in some pretty good rental deals all through 2020. These markets are hard hit. People want to leave these markets and go elsewhere. Now, where are they going? Look what's happening, where they're going. Now, you as a first-time home buyer, if you don't own your home, you're renting. And sure, you can rent for one year, but what happens when the rent comes due? Because I'm going to tell you, I'm going to raise the rent on you. You know, that's, that's what I'm charged with is to maximize the return from my clients. And the tenants will have to pay. Look at this. Here in Boise, now Boise is the, is the showcase. Boise's rent since March of 20 has gone up over 30%. Over 30% in their rent. Now here, when you look here in Chandler, that's in my marketplaces, it's a, just an absolutely phenomenal place to live. I mean, here in Maricopa County, which is really we're five or six hours east of uh, the California. The Californians are leaving California and because I mean, Arizonans in leaps and bounds, we have over 200 Californians every single day wanting to turn in their uh, driver's license and become Arizonans. But that's just for California. We're getting people from Chicago, and Wisconsin, Minneapolis, and even as far away as New York moving here. We have in here in Maricopa County over 300 people a day moving in. And look what's happening to the rents. Up 16% in Mesa. Gilbert up 15%. Glendale up 15%, Chandler up 14%. And a lot of our marketplaces, we're looking really at uh, over that. You know, we have a really, really nice property. We have people that are making multiple offers. We put a property on a market for, uh, for rent and we get 10 or 15 applications. 
So we only run into one of these guys and people are actually just offering us more and more rent to purchase, to be able to rent the property. And we're looking at sometimes as much as 18 or 20% rental increase. Now you as a first time home buyer, you're stuck between two evils. The whole price of homes is going up. Now, if you follow my work at all, you're talk, we've been talking about the fact that inflation is coming into the marketplace and price of things are gonna go up. Now, single family home is one of the best inflation hedges that you can possibly buy because all the components will go up as the value of, of the uh, building blocks go up. So as lumber goes up, as steel goes up, as aluminum goes up, as concrete goes up, and as labor goes up, the price of the homes is driven up because it costs more and more to build new ones. And as the new homes go up, the price of the old ones goes up right along with them. So what does that tell you? Now, we as investors, we're just reaping all kinds of rewards. Our business is just phenomenal. We're making incredible returns, but we're putting half down or sometimes cash. If you can go buy a property with like an FHA for less than 4% down. Now, let me go, let me go to this next slide and we'll just take a look at this. Now, the case Schiller index came out and said it's 11.2% nationally. Now, that's nationally. That means that all these places that no one wants to, to live in are thrown into that uh, pot, and we do an average off that. So the great markets like, like uh, Florida, Texas, and Arizona, these prices are up significantly. Now, nationally, it's up 11.2%. So if you put 4% down and a price of the house goes up, Let's call it 12 because my math is easier. So you put 4% down and you get 12% back. That means you've done 300% return on your investment because you leverage into it as an owner occupant. And that's just on the value of the property. There's all kinds of other advantages for you. You get tax advantages. You get credit rating going up. You're building up your uh, equity in the property by paying down the mortgage. Just all kinds of really, really good things going for you. Now, look at this next one. In the big markets, the big markets of the United States, these prices of homes are going up like crazy. In the last 30, 60, 90 days, homes are going up 15%. Here in Maricopa County, we've had months where they're going up 3% a month. Yeah, 3% a month. The house is going up 3% a month. And if you put less than 4% down, it means you're almost every month, you're making 100% on your down payment every month. So it's critical, critical that you go out and buy a property. So get off this rental and go buy a place for yourself. Get a fixed rate mortgage. Do not take an adjustable rate. Get a fixed rate mortgage. And go find a realtor that's going to work with you. I don't care if you have to make 20 or 25 offers. You go buy something and buy it right away. Look at this next screen. Let me just show you. Now, this is my timing model. This is what I use for my investors. This has been very deadly accurate for us. Just absolutely positively accurate as all get outs. You know, this is an 18-year cycle. My, my uh, model absolutely nailed these two corrections, came in right on time. So I'm assuming that the uh, model will work, but there's no guarantee that it's going to work 100%. So that's my CYA. We think it'll work, but it may not. You know, but it's going to give you good advice because I think we're here in the accumulation phase. And I think that this is going to be the greatest bull market in my lifetime. And you need as a first time home buyer to go out and buy something because we're going to go here. We're going to go to, I think, to incredible prices. And yes, will it be a bubble? Absolutely, positively. I think we're certainly going to go to a bubble, particularly with, uh, with the administration that's so uh, easy with the money. And we've talked about that there's just an incredible amount of uh, liquidity in the marketplace. We have um, reserves and uh, money supply that's historic. 
And its money supply is going to look for a place that it can get a return. It's going to either go into any of the great markets, but it's probably going to get used. And once it gets used, it's going to drive prices up. So if you think prices are high as a first time home buyer, you haven't seen anything yet. So don't wait till it gets up here or up here or up here before you buy something. Get it while it's still down here. Now, if you're afraid of doing this, this is a little mercenary. So I'm going to go over this is that you can pick up my real estate investing for beginners. It's available on Amazon. It'll take you from nothing to teaching you how to buy real estate. But it's great as a first time home buyer, it teaches you how to do this. Now, if you have questions, you're certainly welcome to reach me at michael at michaeldeville.com. Now, I typically work with investors and money people, but my staff here are more than happy to help you. If you're a first time home buyer and you're frustrated as all well, get out, you're welcome to give us a call. We'll certainly help you. If I can, I'll point you in the right direction. You're welcome to reach me at michael at michaeldeville.com. But my parting words is, I think prices are going to go considerably from higher from here. I think inflation's coming. I think higher interest rates are coming. I think higher rent is coming. And if you're a first time home buyer, none of this is good for you unless you own a property. So there's lots of avenues to do that. Now, this is Memorial Day weekend coming up. You're going to have people at the park, at the ball games, at the rivers, and at the lakes, and at the forest. They're all going to be enjoying yourself. You should be out buying a property. When there's less competition in the marketplace, go get one. Go find a broker that's going to help you. And if you're in the big markets of uh, Florida, Arizona, and Texas, keep making those offers. Go get a house. Make sure you fixed rate the loan. Buy as good a property as you possibly can. And if you have trouble, have questions, Michael at michaelbill.com. We'll help you all best we can. Best we can. My very best to you. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.